Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the under. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Golden. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Bad Intention. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up. Wow, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from this clinch position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? I mean, he's cutting him down to size with this beautiful leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big head kick lands. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Hey, set him up, set him up. There it is. Big head kick! Way to hide that leg kick. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing with beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice here. Oh! Oh! He's not looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. 
pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big head kick lands. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Back to the jab now, no good. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Nice punch lands over the top. Ten seconds to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights. Man, that's what I'm talking about. That's the pace we're talking about. That's the cardio. There's the kick. It's blocked. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. And there comes the separation now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Under three minutes now to go round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Good punch land. Big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. There you go. Look for the shot. You have to do more than that. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Head kick lands. The taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Look at him with his hip up to that kick. All right, single taller tie now, and they separate. Look at the force behind that leg kick. That's a big strike. some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be... Man, I need you to go out there and knock this dude down again. But I this time, it's closed the Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And he landed the right hand there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, straight.
straight right. Blocks the shot. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Big punch lands through the middle. Lands to the body. There's no give on that leg kick. His misses are entertaining. Lands the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Powerful leg kick lands. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, no shot to the body. He told us he was going to reach it. Mission accomplished. accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision and intention. Right, nice job, Ryan, there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision, and sometimes I would...